hello welcome back to my channel i'm sorry guys i've been going for a while but i am back and this is for the love of drip so if you're new please like comment and subscribe because girl we love the drip over here and that is nose fashion even though i'm not very fashionable today but we represent in the lord hallelujah god is dope and we stay blessed up okay but anyway, today I have, let's figure out what I want to do. I, I'm definitely going to break this up into two videos because I don't want the super long videos. Um, let's do my favorite candles. So I have a couple candles. I have two, was these 12? I think they were 12.95, two 12.95 candles. And then I also have six single wick candles that were... I want to say $6.95. I can't really remember because I've actually been holding on the, to these products for a while now. And that's hence the reason why I came on here looking a hot mess because this ain't me. This ain't me. This ain't she. This ain't her. Okay, I like to look fabulous. But <clears throat> I just had to get this out because I've been playing around about these videos. And I really do enjoy you guys. I really do. So um, if you guys shop to sell, let me know what candles you got what candles you um what is it called um dang recommend candles that you recommend because i absolutely love candles um when i'm in a store and i'm smelling the candles i kind of feel like i don't like majority of them sometimes it takes burning the candles to like them more i guess but majority of them i do not like okay so let's start with our 12.95 candles the first one we have is the lovely lovely harvest pomegranate i don't see a lot of people talking about this one and it is so freaking good the notes are rich pomegranate fresh picked apples sweet black plums guys it does kind of have like a shampoo smell but like oh so good guys i just got this when they had that so i have been look it is almost going i'm pretty sure and I don't do this often, but I am pretty sure I'm going to have to buy a backup. I'm not a backup kind of girl. My candles usually last throughout the season. And if it don't, like, I'm fine. Like, I'll get it next year. But this one, first of all, I want to I wanna use this in October. And this is not going to make it to October. So, I'm like, should I get it now or should I wait? If I wait, will it be gone? Because, like, I don't think it's that popular. So, once and they're bringing out new floor sets and they haven't even brought out everything i don't think they bring out everything until like september if i'm not uh mistaken but anyway i don't know if this is going to make it and i absolutely love it it is very fru fruity and it has a warmness to it is it a note in here that will make it warm i guess the black plums and pomegranates is like kind of I would say pomegranates are um, synonymous with fall. So it is like a really warm fall type fruity scent. And I tell you, when you burn it, it gets better and better. And I also tell you that this will fill your whole house. For this to be a fruity, not overpowering scent, it just melts with your environment. It is so freaking good. That is a 10 out of 10, period. The next twelve ninety five candle and the last twelve ninety five candle I got is Marshmallow Fireside, and you guys know about Marshmallow Fireside. This is a toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, caramelized amber, amber, sorry, or crystallized amber. And it smells really good. I love the marshmallow vanilla scent. And what made me get this is because last year I got, what's it? peppermint marshmallow oh my gosh guys it was so freaking good so freaking good so freaking good that i was just like oh i think i like this marshmallow stuff so this is really good i'm going to burn this more like november december but you guys the way i've been feeling i've not been feeling like finishing up my summer candles and unfortunately I've moved into my September, October candles, and so that's not good. <laughs> but either it means that I have to replenish them. 
but that's fine because I am definitely the type that I don't always finish all my candles through the season. So I just save it for the next year. So any summer candles that didn't get finished, they'll get finished next year. And I'm completely content with that. I don't feel the need to have to keep buying candles for the sake of buying them okay so my next single wick candle is vanilla and patchouli and this is my first time having this candle i think all the candles i got except for one are the first time i got the candle and they don't have the notes on here i don't think but to me this is very musky heavy heavy on the patchouli incense it's like incense with vanilla if you're into that then you will like this now i'm not saying that i'm not into it and I'm, I'm not saying that i am into it i actually have to burn it and this is something i would want to burn in the cooler months oh excuse me so it doesn't get like overwhelming so i'm going to go ahead and burn this in the cooler months because i don't want to get like a bad taste in my mouth burning it when it's hot and it's just like smuggy because i heard a lot of good things about this candle like a lot of people say that this is their favorite scent and they just go off about it so i want to go ahead and give it a chance and then my next candle is a tried and true but i've never owned it because i don't particularly love the scent but it's okay in the candle and that is sweather weather let's see I think mm, it's, it's good. Like, let me not lie. It's a pine or something in there. I'm smelling pine and, like, winter fresh gum. But then there's this thing, which is quite nice. But but then it's this thing that Bath & Body Works like to do, which is like a, a outside air note. And I do not like that note. I cannot stand this in body care i i never want to smell like this like the body care i bought i bought a little small like mini travel size spray and i use it as air freshener even that is kind of like not my jam but this is this is better the body care is mm, this i can deal with like in january when it's super cold and you want to be cozy yeah i can definitely dig this Another tried and true, which I do prefer. You know what? I lie. I did have this candle before. I just had it before I was into the candle craze. I don't know if you all remember, but back in the day, they had the tiniest little two candles. The tiniest little two candles. And I think I had like peach bellini, black tie, and this one, flannel. And those candles were like three bucks. I can't remember. They were so freaking tiny. You could barely smell them. Like, so honestly, I, I didn't get on the candle craze because I couldn't smell them. But it was just the type of candle that I got. It was well, I don't think they even sold these types back then. They only sold the ones that were like this. Then we get it the semi-annual sometimes. But this, mm, this is good. This is good. I will get a three wick in this. And I might just, if, if the candle, because I can, like, start this up when it first start getting cold, like, late September, October. So, that's good enough time for me to know. I I have this, I had this in the wallflower. I love it. I love it. This is, this is my jam. This is, like, a masculine scent, but not too overpowering, like a mahogany teak wood. I think I had that, too, in that little teeny, teeny candle. And that was the only one that you can really, really smell. And I did like it back then, but mind you, it was a teeny, teeny candle. I couldn't imagine having mahogany teakwood in a three-wick candle. It's just a lot. Oh, it's so soft. It's like a beautiful man. A soft-hearted, beautiful man. I love it. Okay, so good. Okay, so this is like a tried and true. I figured that I probably wouldn't want to do it in three wick this year. So I just picked up a small single wick. And I may, and that's rose water and ivy. But at the same time, I might return this if they come out with better single wicks. Because they haven't so far. If they come out with better single wicks and I decide that I want to just go ahead and swap this out. I'll just get a three wick. Because actually... <sighs> I have a thing with my candles like I everybody you can I can't burn anything anytime but I can but I can't I can but I can't for me rose water ivory is not a hot weather scent it is very bold you get you're getting rose 
you're getting the lead, you're getting the thorns, you're getting a true, authentic, super earthy rose scent. And to me, this is just so good on a cool day, maybe like a cool Sunday morning, and you're just so cozy, and you're like living in your feminine energy. Even to go to sleep, but it's just so good. I don't think I'll return it. That's a lot. If anything, I'll return it and definitely get a three wick. <sighs> so good. I love it. The next two I've definitely never had. I've actually never even seen this first one. And I didn't want to get, like, Halloween packaging because the older I get, the more nonsense it seems to me, the whole Halloween situation. Not that I'm against Halloween. I mean, I was trick-or-treating up till I was, like, 16 years old. Like, seriously, it was a problem. We loved it. <laughs> me and the kids in my neighborhood, we trick-or-treated well into 16, 17 years old for real trick-or-treating. But um, as I get older, I don't know. I'm just a child of God. I don't know about all this uh, this shenanigans here, right? But the first one I have here is um, pumpkin carving. And it smells so freaking good. This smells so freaking This is what all the other pumpkin sh scents should smell like. I think this year, no, not saying years prior, but this year those pumpkin scents are really off. And pumpkin, cinnamon, something, I don't remember. The one that everybody, that's like the tried and true pumpkin, like that always smells good to me. Even pumpkin, pecan, waffles is smelling off to me. It smells bad. Because I was going to get pumpkin, pecan, waffles, but something is off about it. This one, mm, this is what a pumpkin scent should smell. This is the quintessential pumpkin scent. You get the pumpkin spices, something creamy. This is like a pumpkin. Oh. First of all, this smells like that potpourri that be like that's like outside of I know it's outside of my market when it's hot outside when it's cold outside. Well, my market will have like logs and like snow or sn a salt to clean up the snow, and they'll have like little pine things in like a a netted bag. I don't know, but this will be sitting outside, and yes. Yes, yes. If you have not smelled this, please smell it. If you like pumpkin, if you don't like pumpkin, you might even still like this one. This is so, 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 so good. So, 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 so good. Yeah, yes. Touche. Okay. Now, the next one is I've never had it. I thought I didn't like it. It didn't smell really good to me at all. I never liked this one. But, you know, actually, it's really good. It's really, really good. And this is Girlfriend. And, you know, um, on the contrary of what I just said, this packaging is kind of cute. It's, like, embossed. I don't know if you guys can see it. I kind of, like, angled it. It's embossed. And then, like, it's girly. <laughs> I like girly things. I'm sorry. And it's pink. <laughs> But it smells so freaking good. It's very floral. Very floral. Very berry. Very girly. And initially, I didn't like it for years and years and years. Because I was like, this is not a Halloween scent. But I get it. It is. I, I can smell this on Halloween day. Like, I get it. I finally get it because I didn't get it for so many years. I was just, I would smell this candle every year wanting to like it because it's all it always has cute packaging. But I never liked it. But this year, hmm, that sweet berry floral scent is just, it's it. I loved all my candles that I got. Um, They're so good. I mean, sweater weather, I don't know. We're going to have to burn her. She's not bad, but. I don't know. Love, but anything. Anyway, this is such a lovely thing. I'm so happy to be back, you guys. Hopefully, I can go ahead and stay in like a, a schedule so I can definitely connect with you guys. And again, let me know what candles you got, what candles you like, because honestly, I do like to buy candles, but I'm really feeling hard pressed on liking some of the scents. So that's that part. And so, therefore, I'm not going to buy 
a bunch of stuff that's meh when these candles aren't cheap even if they're going on sale for 13 bucks bucks plus taxes that is not cheap so i want to like my candle i hate returning candles you know i will i will but it's like it's kind of like uncomfortable to have to return a candle especially after you burnt it so i like to love my candles but anyway thank you guys for staying this long please continue the drip please continue to be blessed and please like comment and subscribe have a good day <laughs> who do i think i am